The softball team opens a seven-game homestand this week. It's final one of the season. Tomorrow with a doubleheader versus Western Illinois. Then this weekend, the Badgers host Nebraska for three games. And Sunday's contest, which starts at noon, is the annual Get to Goodman promotion in conjunction with Senior Day. Head coach Yvette Healy is here. We'll have an opening statement, then take questions. Uh, excited to be back in Madison. Uh, I had a couple coaches saying to me, I feel like you guys just started your your season. And I said, well, it seems like it. But um, when you're on the road the first couple months, um, it seems like we just started, but we're actually in the home stretch here. Um, so uh, it should be a fun weekend to have senior day. I think that's what everybody's focusing on right now. We've got a, a ton of great local kids on the team um, that have just been tremendous leaders and great character kids for us celebrating their senior day. So um, we're looking forward to, to capping the season off and really sending them off, hopefully in style. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot of fans in Madison this weekend with crazy legs and the spring game and, and us hosting Nebraska. It's going to be a fun fun weekend in Madison. Hi. Hi. How are, uh, how's your team playing, would you say? Um, you know, they're playing really hard right now. And that's, that's the fun part as a coach. Um, our seniors in particular, we've got two walk-ons in that class with Maria Von Abel from Coconut, Wisconsin, and Megan Tansel from Edgewood High School right here in Madison. And they have just been the best um, hardworking kids that have bought in. And um, it's one of those years that could have been really, really tough with uh, – that was the class when we took over that we had a lot of kids decommit in the interim of when you take over a program and um, great leaders like that that came in and have become scholarship kids for us and they're having their best season of their career. They've really helped kind of keep us afloat and help us keep battling through the season. So um, that would be the first thing that I'd say when I look at this team, like, man, they fight. Can you talk about the freshman class, especially Kelsey Jenkins having a lot of progress lately? Oh, sure. Um, Kelsey Jenkins, she's one of our one of the hitters we brought in in this freshman class from Arizona, and um, she's really coming along. She's She just looked like a freshman that knew how to take a lot of walks early in the season. She's got a great eye and has already broken the, the single season walk record, which you never see from a kid that's not hitting that well <laughs> or doesn't have power numbers. Um, typically, the kids getting walked are the, the big dogs that people are pitching around, but um, there's something strange in the Big Ten this year that the zone is really small, and I think it's going on all over the country that people are just getting walked and um, Kelsey has been a kid that's really benefited from that and uh, but now she's starting to, to swing the bat as well so this weekend at Illinois she had a couple home runs and um, she really has just been on a tear the month of April knock on wood um, but she's been fun to see her come along and, and come into her own and I think she's gonna break a lot of offensive records at Wisconsin. You, you mentioned the the team's fight and things like that. Did you know though that this year the results on the field might not be as as good as what you had as have had in the past, and it might be a little more trying? And how close are you to getting back to where you're accustomed to? Um, you know, we knew it would be a tough year. We're one of those sports where um, you've got to kind of balance when you graduate kids and your money and the last couple years have been so fun but we knew we had giant classes that you know two years ago we won the big 10 we graduated five full scholarships and last year four so if you graduate 75 percent of your scholarships in two years it's great if you can make a run but you know there's going to be some work ahead of you um, so we knew it would be a challenge and uh, living it is always different than than seeing it on paper. So I think that's the thing as a staff that we're competitive uh, and to, to stay going with it. But I'm, I'm pleased with how hard they're fighting. I think this could have been one of those years that you could have seen a, a lot of unrest. And the team's just, they're giving it what they've got. And I think from the talent level we've got, they're really maximizing their talent and getting better. And as a coach, that's all you can ask for. Of course, you want results. But um, you know our goal is to keep recruiting and keep bringing in the talent. And um, you know we're committed to it. And we've got some really good kids coming in in the future, too. Brent, did you see a, a, a boon in, in recruiting because of your success over the past couple of years? 
Um, it's helped. You know, I think the success of the athletics department across the board helps us with, you know, your final fours and your Rose Bowls. Um, and for us, it helps a little bit, too, because when we took over, you were kind of recruiting to a, a different um, caliber kid. And it takes a couple years to, to grow. You're recruiting to the best you can of where the program stands. And um, we definitely are in more houses now than, than ever before, but that's five years into it. So I think you'll see it pay off probably five years down the road. And um, if we can have the patience to enjoy it, but year, every year, I think it gets a little bit better of the types of kids that we really are in the mix on um, and some of the commitments that we've got regionally we're super excited about. I do have another question. You've got Nebraska. You also have Minnesota, too. So those are two of the top three teams, I think, in the Big Ten. This they are. Is an interesting couple of weeks. Oh, it's going to be tough. I mean, they, they swing the bats, both of those teams, and um, have very good pitching. So uh, from our standpoint, it's great because you want to see the best teams. I think you're always trying to look how you match up. But um, what a tough stretch to, to have to go through. And even Western Illinois swings the bats, and they're playing really well. Um, so for there, there's no light games on the – on the schedule, but that's how the conference is. I think in general, people are scoring six plus runs a game in the Big Ten right now, which is crazy. I think if you look at numbers, it used to be a two to one ball game world. And now you've got to score six, eight, 10 runs to win a game. Um, and you've got to hit the long ball. And that's something that we, you know, we're committed to. We've had a couple of big kids get injured that it's hurt. And our, our senior class has done a great job, but they're just speed kids that steal a lot of bases. And it, it makes it, we have to work really hard for our runs. <laughs> That being said, can these next two weeks kind of turn a season around, especially heading into Big Ten tournament play? Oh, sure. I mean, there's still, even though we're in the home stretch, there's a lot of big games left. So um, if you can find yourself matching up and holding down these great offenses and uh, finding ways to score against them, I think you can really give yourself some momentum. So it's a big stretch for us. But more than anything, you know, in a year like this, you're always just trying to see improvement. So every game that we go out, we just say, let's see some good softball. And um, the fight's been there and the passion, and it's been some, some great – dog fights out there and I think that's what we're looking forward to too of just making Wisconsin proud to have that kind of great offense defense and and that heart anything else for coach all right thanks thanks Yvette